Dear friends, colleagues and partners, as we come together to commemorate World TB Day, we stand in solidarity with the millions of people who fall ill with TB each year and remember the millions who have lost their lives from this preventable and curable disease. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, coupled with the conflicts across Europe, Africa, and the Middle East, has placed an even heavier burden on those affected, leading to disruptions of essential TB services and additional deaths. TB remains one of the world's deadliest infectious killers. Each day, over 4,000 people lose their lives to TB, and close to 30,000 people fall ill with this preventable and curable disease. Global efforts to combat TB have saved an estimated 66 million lives since the year 2000. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has reversed years of progress made in the fight to end TB. For the first time in over a decade, TB deaths increased in 2020. The focus this year for World TB Day and theme, Invest to End TB, Save Lives. It conveys the urgent need to dramatically increase investments to ramp up the fight against TB and achieve commitments to end TB made by global leaders. This is vital to ensure no one is left behind in equitable accessing TB prevention and care in line with WHO's drive towards achieving universal health coverage. Importantly, investing in the fight against tuberculosis is a no-brainer development target, according to The Economist and the Copenhagen Consensus, given the benefits gained per dollar spent. For every US dollar invested to NTB, 43 is returned at the benefits of a healthy functioning society. An analysis in The Lancet further bolstered this, highlighting that investments towards ending TB can lead to avoiding 23.8 million tuberculosis deaths and 13 trillion US dollars in economic losses by 2030. On World TB Day, WHO is calling for action on several fronts to ramp up investments and ensure that the commitments made to NTB are achieved. First, we would like to call for an increase in domestic and international investments to close funding gaps for TB implementation and research. Countries are urged to increase domestic investments in the context of universal health coverage as a sustainable way of closing this financing gap. However, for countries with weaker economies that have inadequate fiscal capacity to expand public health financing, especially following the enormous socio-economic impacts of COVID-19, international support will be required in the short and medium term. We need international donors to significantly increase investments and also leverage other existing and new financing mechanisms to chart the way forward to a comprehensive recovery of progress. Second, we should not forget that the progress in public health depends on innovation. Financing for TB research must more than double to drive discovery of new tools, including vaccines, and to scale up life-saving innovations. WHO is intensifying efforts to shape the TB vaccines agenda with a high-level push this year through a global summit. Third, investments go beyond financing. We need to invest in sustaining essential TB services during the COVID-19 pandemic and ongoing conflicts to ensure that gains made in the fight against TB are not reversed. All measures should be taken to ensure continuity of services for people who need preventive and curative treatment for TB. People-centered delivery of TB prevention, diagnosis, treatment and care services, including through digital technologies, should be ensured in tandem with the COVID-19 response and other emergency responses. 
MTB needs to be included into pandemic preparedness plans for countries. Fourth, we need to invest in accelerating the uptake of new WHO guidelines and tools, including all oral treatments, rapid molecular tests uh, that can significantly improve access, quality of care, and uh, treatment outcomes for those affected. Fifth, we are concerned uh, by the growing rates of poverty, inequity, undernutrition, comorbidities related to TB, discrimination and stigma that are major drivers of the TB epidemic. We need to invest in extending social protection and universal health coverage, combating stigma and discrimination, as well as strengthening multi-sectoral engagement and accountability. We need concerted actions and greater accountability by all sectors to provide the right services, support and enabling a safe environment in the right place at the right time for people with TB. All these investments and actions can help drive the TB response to save lives and reach the global TB targets. This will be critical especially as we prepare for the second UN high-level meeting on TB in 2023 that will bring together heads of states and other leaders to re-energize commitments to end TB. At WHO, we commit to invest in leading the NTB response and keeping the promises made to the millions affected by TB each year. Even in the face of hardships, challenges or crises that come our way. We cannot falter in our commitments till we reach and save every person, family and community impacted by this deadly disease. We call on you to join us in making investments of your time, energy, support, care or financing towards ending TB. You can be a beacon of hope Everyone has a role to play in ending TB. Individuals, communities, civil society, youth, business and governments. Join us. No more excuses and delays in prioritizing and investing to end one of the top infectious killers. Invest to end deaths and sufferings. Invest to end TB save lives. Thank you.